New Zealand is an island nation in the South Pacific. It's made up of two main islands, the north and the south, and then we have Stewart Island right at the very bottom of the South Island. 4,000 kilometres after that is Antarctica. Stewart Island is 85% national park. Big Glory Bay is situated right on the outskirts of that. When uh, salmon farming first started in New Zealand, um, Big Glory Bay was identified as the perfect temperature for growing king salmon. We just in totally pristine water conditions. King salmon come from the Sacramento River in, in California. Sanford got into uh, growing fish in Big Glory Bay in 1993. And we don't have any diseases in New Zealand for these species and we don't have any sea lice like the rest of the industry suffers from. So we don't have to use medicated feed, they just get natural ingredients and are nurtured in this glorious piece of isolation called Stewart Island. Environmental sustainability is very important to Sanford. We move the farm around, we fallow sites for a period of time and that's just all about making sure that we're keeping the benthic environment in good condition. We're our best aquaculture practice four star. Uh, the Monterey Bay Aquarium and their Seafood Watch program have given us a green sticker. So we are the best farmed salmon in the world in terms of environmental sustainability. So they say we are the farmed salmon of choice. To produce the best quality salmon in the world, there's a whole list of things that we have to tick on a daily basis. And one of those things is the density at which we farm. You know, we farm at the lowest possible density that we can. So we only grow four fish per cubic metre of water. Every pan is monitored for oxygen, for temperature, and we've got camera systems in the water just to make sure we've got fish behaviour, fish performance, and well-being uh, all looked after. We've been in Big Glory Bay for over 30 years. Any given day, we'll have about 25 people uh, working on the farm. We're a big contributor to the, the local employment on the island. You know, there's only 400 people uh, uh, at any one time, and uh, we feel an uh, absolute obligation to make sure we look after the community here. One of the initiatives that we've had is out of every fish that we harvest, 10 cents of that fish is donated back to community projects. We grow our young fish in our hatcheries in uh, Kaitangata and Waitaki. Once they reach 25 to 30 grams, we transfer them to the seaside where we are now. And then they're grown for about uh, 24 months, nice and slowly. We have a contract dive team that comes and works for us. And their primary role is uh, looking at uh, fish performance and well-being, uh, making sure everything's in good shape. We feed our salmon the best quality feed, and that ensures the best quality fish at the end of the day. The feed that we use is not genetically modified. As part of our BAP program, our feed supplier is certified as well. So we take extreme care on how we harvest our fish. We catch small numbers of fish. You know, the, the aim is here not to stress the fish at all. So that happens by electric stunning. Um, they go onto an ice slurry, and those ice slurry keep the fish at a very low temperature, between zero and one degree, before they're actually processed in the factory. Within the 72 hour period, that salmon can be on the top restaurant in LA. That timing allows us to deliver the freshest salmon all over the world. If you ever taste Big Glory Bay salmon, you'll realise that it's the best salmon in the world. Nice levels of oil, not too fatty. When you fillet the fish or you look at the sashimi, you know it's got real clear lines of marbling in between the, the mustard segments. It's got that melt in your mouth feeling, you know, which really is the thing that stands out from our fish. Big Glory Bay salmon is a guaranteed quality product. I've been using it for close to three years now. The same size every time. It's got the you know, same fat content every time, same colour, you know exactly what's coming in the box. It's good for the sashimi and the sushi. With the, uh, the thick marbling, it's the best salmon in the world. It's got a rich flavour and that paired with it being sustainable, it's guaranteed quality. The quality of our salmon is related to the environment we farm in and that's why the environment is so important for us to be pretty much in that parameter of growing salmon, you know, at its peak and that allows us to produce really top quality salmon. It's, it's very special, very privileged to be uh, operating in this environment.